in this video we will write a java program and use java new classes and dos file attributes we will create a java class then set its property to read only and hidden and we will also check if their properties are changed so let's see an example of it first i need to import packages import java neo dot file dot attribute and then import java dot neo dot file dot box and then import java dot neo dot file dot path and then need to import import java dot neo dot file dot files now i will go to my main function and over here we will use path function get to get a file path so we need file path then we can get file path by calling path function get and pass in the path of our file that will be in my c drive c then i will name it our file I also need to uh, create this file and I need to have a try and catch block to catch exceptions. Catch exception. And inside here, I'm just gonna print stack trace. Now we have a path. I can create this file by calling files dot create file method and pass in a file path. And now I can set this file's attribute. First, I'm going to make it read only. So this file cannot be updated then. To do that, I can use files dot set attribute and pass in our file path, and then the attribute that will be dos read only, and then true. We can use DOS file attribute to read uh, the attributes of a file, but I will also show on Windows how you can read these file attributes. I will just go ahead and run this program. So up to now, we, we have created the file. I need to save and run I created a file then we have set the attribute for that file okay there are errors need to fix those error first for our more errors there's extra for reverses okay so save and run it again now I can go to my C drive with explorer and see if that file is created yeah we have that file our file and i can just right click on it and see the attribute is checked to read only so that one worked for us now we are going to hide this file 
to hide this file, I will use set attribute and make it read only. Same thing. It's gonna change over here after DOS. The attribute will be read only. For that, we have done read only and gonna be will be doing hidden. Okay. So now this file will become hidden after I run this program. Save it and run it. Just make sure if you are trying like this, you, you need to comment this one out because we already created that file or it will throw an error. So I'm just testing for you guys to see the, that we set first read only and you can see how it works. Then I will do DOS hidden too. But uh, if you run uh, in first time with both attributes and you created a file, then it will work. But if you are checking step by step, then you need to comment this one after uh, setting the attribute for DOS hidden because we already have that file created on the first run. So however, I'm just gonna comment that out for now and run this program to make this file hidden. We come back to our explorer. We are not able to see that file because that file is hidden now. So this one worked too. Now I will use DOS file attribute class to read attributes of this file. So we are going to call files, files dot read attributes function and pass in the path of our file. And we're here, the next argument is DOS attribute, DOS file attributes dot class. Let's see, do this, DOS file attributes dot class and we will get our class or object of DOS file file DOS file attributes DOS Now we have our DOS file attribute object. We can call this function is hidden and is read only. So it should return true for us. System dot dot print line and then I will do is file hidden and over here I will call DOS attributes function is hidden now we'll do same for read only is file read only over here is read only no, I'm just gonna run this these both should return true because we set these attributes so let's see You can, you can see on console is file hidden true, is file read only as true. So this way you can also see the attributes of a file. Now if you want to change it back, we can do that too. We just need to change this true value to false. So we are, I'm just gonna copy from here and we are changing back. I will also print a message here. System. 
and y. Changing back attributes. So this will be false, and this will be false, and we need to read this again. Attributes. So I'm just gonna copy this one. Oh my. And I'll press and do read it again and print it again. I will add one more after and after so we we can see some difference in the messages when we print on console. So now I just need to run it again. You can see on console after changing bag attributes, we get is file hidden false, is file read only false. Let's check our folder if we are able to see that file again. Yeah, it's over here. So we will we can check this way too. Right click on it and see the click the properties, and you can see it, those both attributes are unchecked now. So this way in Java you can set the attributes of files on Windows to keep on learning please subscribe to our YouTube channel keep supporting us and thank you for watching